A wise man once told me, if your beanie doesn't look like a condom on your head, you're not wearing it right. All right, guys. What's up and what's glorious? YouTube, the World Wide Web. As you guys can see in live HD, it's your host with the most, Paul Cantu. Back with the trip to the thrift video. Now, this video is going to be a little bit weird because it's a hybrid of a bunch of random thrift clips. One of which is from January 10th. So please forgive the old NFL playoff references. Bruh, this was the past, okay? But we're in the present right now. Speaking of presents, I guess Santa Claus gave all of us a nice snowy late winter gift because it's been crazy in Texas with the weather. My heart goes out to everyone in Houston, North Texas, and all of Central North America as a matter of fact because, man, this weather has been nuts. Our pipes froze, didn't have water for a day. We didn't have electricity for a day. Luckily, Akbar did give me a place to lay my head at night with a heater. And it's just overall been a crazy winter experience that we were not prepared for, our grid wasn't prepared for, and just the whole state in general had no infrastructure to deal with. So it's been nuts. And uh, yeah, I just wanna say all the orders did go out today because the post office finally opened. So everyone who has shopped on the website, thirstyfavors.com, all your stuff is going to you right now. But without further ado, let's hop, skip, and jump into the first thrift of the day. Thank you all for your patience. Also, if you guys haven't seen the video of me decorating, go ahead and watch that. It's what I did in the few days that I had where there was pretty much nothing else to do. Without further ado, let's hop, skip, and jump straight inside. All right, guys, what's great here? We're live in the building, and um, I already have loaded my card up with a ton of stuff. And I got all these picture frames because I'm going to use them for an art project coming up. So I legit have like a million of these and you guys are going to see what I do with them. But I got a bunch of different colors, varieties, but they're all relatively small. So um, stay tuned for that. But let me move these out the way and get into the clothes. All right, guys, I had to dip to the corner of the store like a complete creep to try not to disturb anyone on their shopping adventures to show off the clothes I got today. Now, this store didn't hit stupid crazy today, but it hit crazy enough. You got the Chicago Bears. Today's actually playoff Sunday, so we're gonna see if they can pull off an upset. Um, a varsity jacket, I just thought that was clean. It's like five bucks. Speaking of playoffs, did someone say playoffs? They got the Columbia Sportswear, Kansas City Chiefs, two-tone jacket this is actually really hard they're only charging four dollars that's gonna be half off and then you have the members only fuck with who fuck with me fuck with me bro the essentials you have one of them you have two of them and then you have that is right all three of them bro all three of y'all members only had a stack up on those dudes and then you have this really clean umbro select with like a chainmail armor interior. It is reversible. It has this logo on the inside. I'm not gonna turn it inside out because I only got one hand to do that with. Also very cool, you have the M&M's brand new with tags, tied IT. And these are hands down my favorite thing, bro. You have the Tommy for your mommy, Vans-esque sailing shoes. Now these are vintage, you guys can, well, probably not actually, but there is a little tag on the inside right there. That says sailing gear. This is super hard to show off with a camera. There it is. Pinstriped interior, that seer sucker. And then on the back, you got the flag. Tommy Hill figure. Tommy figure, mommy. And it's, wait for it, $7, Seven. today. Um, also on my size, man, I managed to come away with a crispy scoop of some Reeboks. Can't wait to throw these on feet. Definitely will fit my big toe. You already know. <laughs> and then um, the last couple finds are pretty chill. You have the Navy on a Navy Chaps Ralph Lauren pullover right here. And I really like that zipper detail. Come on, focus. And then you have the Polo Ralphius Lorenus jacket as well. Wow, this just was like a heap of bullshit. But hey, it's Ralph though. And then, um, come on, bro. Tripping. Ooh. What in the fuck was that? All right. We're really having a snafu showing off these clothes. You got the uh, Puerto Rico vintage tank top. Cool graphic. Probably the most fire graphically appealing piece in here. But yeah, dude, I just felt like showing off the tings. Because more often than not, sometimes I pull up and I don't show off what I get. But bruh, we're sharing our divine finds today. All right, guys. We're up out of the thrift. 
and I got so much stuff in there. I actually just grabbed a pair of shoes that are behind the counter. Let me show y'all what they are. I personally think they're fire, but I'll let you guys be the judge. All right, guys, so check me out. Check me out right now. Look at these, bruh. Look at these. Are that, is it not focused? Is it focused? Is it, or is it not focused? All right, look. So you got these new balances, right? All I saw was this booty area. What the <laughs> get off my face. All right, so here are the shoes, bruh. These are like some new balance, what are they called? Fresh from Hierros. Hierros. I don't know what that exactly means. But all I saw was the booty just kind of poking right here. Like, look at that tail section, bro. Oh my, oh my God. So it has that fresh foam. These are actually brand new with tags. It says Vibram right here. Ooh. And um, yeah, I mean, just look at the tags. They wanted 25. I got them for 12, even though it's F12. F the police. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding, man. They're good cops and bad cops. But yeah, these are like New Balance uh, trail runners right here. And so I just figured they were so sick. Like I definitely would've got these for myself. They're size nine and a half. So they will be on the website, thriftheavenvintage.com. And uh, yeah, they even got that toe protect. Look at that, come on, man. Toe protect, ha. That's just what we need in this life are our toes to be protected. But yeah, dude, I almost passed them up, and I was like, I know one of y'all probably want to grab these dudes, and they are brand new. So I said, why not? Why not grab the Schmurf skin tone, new balances? These are bangers, bruh. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Nah. All right, guys, I just skedaddled down the street. Goodwill. Here I come. Here I come. <laughs> All right, let's see what they got. This Goodwill does not have much at all. I did manage to find this Adidas all gold. We love gold. Oh. Real Madrid, a two-tone jacket. This is probably the hardest thing, unless, you know, to get hard, you need to dress like a Winnie the Pooh furry. Then in that case, I know you guys are sprung right now. Uh, they also have this LSU vintage little uh, long sleeve very cool font and then the third thing i found in here was the looney tunes construction crew tie which is definitely really cool except tasman contemplative he's not the sharpest tool in the shed literally <laughs> but yeah i think i'll probably get these two for sure maybe this guy it looks like something was munching on this though like there are a bunch of little tiny holes so that's probably a no-go but hey two things Shit it on them. Man, I'm about a goodwill, bro. They tried to pull the okie doke on me. Ah, this is why, I, man, I cannot mess with goodwill, bro. Doesn't matter how hard I try, bro. They they attempted to charge me $10 for that little fleece, that fleece like half zip. I'm like, dude, what what's up with y'all's inconsistent ass prices, bro? Anyways. Oh, goodwill's always on that bullshit, bro. <laughs> It's good that uh, a $4 price discrepancy is what I have to complain about, though. I'm blessed. Anyways, we'll continue this video wherever wherever we shall. All right? <laughs> Let's get it. All right, guys. What's happening? Live. Live. Live in the building. Um, we're in here, dude. Already have gone through a lot of the racks, and I have a cart full of absolute fire as of right now check it out you have the center nike chest st louis cardinals i don't know what it is but they have more st louis stuff in houston than in st louis itself i promise got a slight little um moco drip right there on the front that's wild daddy and then i found this other missouri piece of heat slate gray with the nacho letters perfect little accents and then i have the vintage k products America, baby. Second Amendment all day. Let's go, 2A. You have the Winchester rifles. Guy, dog, it, guy. Damn it, man. This thing is beautiful right here, baby. K products. This thing is only going to be like a buck fifty for your boy. And then speaking of heat, dude, check this out. This thing is absolutely beautiful. You got the Lotto Palmero long sleeve jersey. Man, I don't know what's up with my autofocus on this dude, but yeah, it's got the little Lotto logos on the sleeves, looking like some cherries on top of strawberry ice cream. Oh my God. 
delicious. Then y'all already know, man, we got some other little tanks. You have the Patriots Super Poltergeist White Pullover. You have the bagel color scheme. Ralph Lauren Coast Jack, and it goes with the beautiful blue shoe section for the women. This is pretty cool how they do like a straight gradient of colors in regards to the shoes. I love it. Little horseman right there on set. And then you have a nice little Coors Light pullover, little cocaine mountains. And then this piece, my guy, Robert Kraft getting yanked in the massage parlor. You got the Kraft Rodeo Service Sponsorship. Bruh, food services, 1991. This thing is like six, half off. It's like tree. And then um, got a couple cool jackets. Got the Barca Nike Neon Construction Worker Green Vest Color Scheme arsenal with the cannon the cannon the cannon about to pop off all revolutionary status brand new with tags phoenix suns again contemporary but this thing just looks so damn hard had to grab that dude and then what else little 90s essential got the little varsity-esque denim jacket with the plaid hood interior i'm sorry you guys can't see it just looks like a lump of nothing but it's something and then last but not least this clean little nike piece right here all right, so I just talked for like, I don't even know how many minutes straight that was, but we haven't even gone through this whole thing. So I'm gonna see what else is in this spot. I just had to make a quick, quick little pit stop to go through half the cart while I could. It's wild. All right, see, this is why we had to continue the hunt. Look at the carrot color scheme on these crew necks. Brand new with tags, Nike, nice little carrot bottom. Then you got the carrot top with the green foliage, Ralph Lauren blue pony right there that's nice that's real real nice all right man um bro look at this they got the beautiful craft mac and cheese speaking of craft with that craft jacket you got the nautica full competition tracksuit that's pretty cool um they are yaks in 20 so it's still gonna be 10 so i don't know about that but what i do know is they got that big ass three and a half foot bong in the building. That's not what this is, but oh my God, this thing is so crazy. Dude, I could put the biggest plant <laughs> in this. This is absolutely ignorant. Wait, how much? They charging, I think that's seven dollars. I think they're charging seven dollars for this. Seven! I might have to get it, bruh. I might have to get this. This thing looks so stupid. Like, who would I be not to grab this very unique piece of glass and blow out of it one time? Bruh. All right, guys, we're really out here with that glass. We got this vase, and then you have this multicolored hand-blown vase as well. Dude, I'm about to, like, break something. This pattern is nuts on this dude. Yes. Y'all like how I hold that girth? So we're up out of the store. My cart looks so ignorant right now with this giant, weird, bong piece of glass. I don't even know what that is. It is sad though, because I found a bunch of cool stuff for the house, but my discount ran out, which was crazy. I thought this was like seven bucks, but it was like 24, so 12 with the half off. I'm gonna paint it, throw a plant in it. I already know what I'm about to do with that thing, so I had to get it. The other glass was really cool too. It's kind of a shame, very sad, but it is what it is. Thus is life. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go to another store though and see what interior decor items they have because I just know their clothing section is probably gonna be ran through. But I digress. Let's find some stuff for the crib. And did I go to another store? Yes. Did they have anything? Hell to the now. So anyways guys, we are back and better than ever pretty much 11 days later. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me out. And also, if you saw anything in today's video that you want, check out my website, thrifthavenvintage.com. Link is in video description. All the items that were in the video actually are on the website. So yes, go on there, grab some gear, do all of that good stuff. It's a great way to support me. We have a ton of drops coming up because power is restored. Civilization is back. And until next time, man, I'll catch y'all with the video very, very soon. Live the dream, eat that ice cream. And until next time, peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I rooster. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.